boo in it. Did I get you? You're scared, aren't you? No, you're not because it's not scary, stupid. But speaking of scary, it is Halloween today. Woo! One of my favorite holidays. Probably like top 100 holidays out there. I'm not sure how many there are, but it's gotta be top 100, right? If anyone can comment 100 holidays better than Halloween, then A. I don't know, bro. I'll give you like a dollar or something. Who knows? Actually, no, I take that back because I'm gonna get a million comments and that would mean I have to give a million dollars. I'm not trying to do that. But since it is Halloween, I thought that today would be a good opportunity to put you guys onto the world's scariest manga. Now I know you're probably thinking, ooh, finally Eddie's gonna cover some Junji Ito. Lol, no. Not today, boy. We got something even crazier. This manga made me piss myself, even shit myself a bit, and come a little as well if I'm being honest. Now I know I'm hyping this up so hard that if you guys go and read it and it's not scary, then I'd lose all credibility as an anime manga reviewer but you guys gotta trust me on this one. Let's get into that, but but real quick, consider subscribing first. We over here at Eddie Hates Anime put a lot of effort into these beautiful videos and your subscription makes it a little bit more worth it. All right, now let's get into it. I don't even really need to go super in depth with what this manga is about to spook you, if we're being honest. All I have to do is read this one excerpt from the manga's first chapter and it will tell you all you need to know this isn't for the faint of heart so click off the video if you're sensitive to pretty much anything crazy this isn't weenie hot jr this is the salty spittoon out here baby you have to be a real tough guy to get through this one you still here okay you ready don't get mad after i show you this panel all i'm gonna say is i told you so mankind was left with only one country the united kingdom ah it horrifies me just reading it even with my bright ass lights on and whilst knowing it's just a manga but still, the, the terror. Imagine waking up to find out the only remaining country in the world was the United Kingdom. Ah! I'm gonna explain the story real quick because I know you guys are uh, curious as fuck, wondering what the, where the hell could the story go? And trust me, it gets pretty wacky. But first, it wouldn't feel right to do this in my accent. I gotta find out how to do a British accent. So let's do that real quick. Instead of going Aye. ah, ah, we're gonna have more of an ah oh sound. Oh. So instead of saying fast, It'll be fast. I'm so bottled right now. <laughs> this mm -hmm. won't sound as American, because Americans are so crazy on using their ah, ah, At ah, least ah, I don't ah, sound ah, like an American. At least uh, when I got to scale. A few minutes later. All right, guys, I have mastered being British. Now that I'm a, a an honorary British man, let's get into it. The manga story is also just one to behold. Crap, I don't know if I can do this the whole video. The manga story is also just one to behold. Not only is the manga story scary, but it's also unique. And the way that it's horror, <laughs> and the way that it's horror, 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 and the way that it's horror is more than just, ooh, spooky. It more scares through you feeling the absolute, oh, crap, accent. It more scares you through you feeling the absolute dread of its situation, of the situation, if that makes sense. Our main protagonist is American from the good old US of A. His name? is Billy Bob. And as any other Billy Bob, you know he was just doing Billy Bob things. And one day, a war broke out between different countries and stuff. Am I even doing a British accent right now? Uh, I don't know. Back to the American accent. But yeah, our main character's name is Billy Bob. He's from the US. And one day, a big war broke out between different countries in the world. Everyone would assume that the Brits were on US's side in this, as in real life it seems, in a war, right? I think so. I'm just, we're just gonna go off that. Uh, but they weren't. They weren't. It seemed that it was the UK versus the world as they were even attacking their own alliance. Billy Bob isn't in the military, by the way. He, he's literally just an ordinary citizen. And suddenly, in the middle of the first chapter, he gets caught up in war territory, just trying to buy some Kit Kats. But due to copyright reasons, they're called Cat Kits. I, I find it a little cute, a little funny. Uh, and he got hit with a missile, a British missile, a radioactive nuclear British missile, which I mean, obviously nicked him a bit, probably stung a little. And that's where part one of chapter one ends with him blacking out. The second half of chapter one starts off with our protag waking up just simply flabbergasted due to everything around him being suspiciously English. And by English, I mean England-like. Some would even say British-like in it, bruv. So Billy Bob went to ask the nearest person what was going on. His main theory was like, oh, I woke up in London town or some shit. You know how America has Chinatown, probably other towns like that. So yeah, he thought he woke up in a British themed town. And when Billy Bob heard his own voice speak for help, he went to grab his trusty American shotgun to, you know, end it all. And that's when he saw that he had no shotgun. There was a musket 
in its place. <laughs> so yeah, Billy Bob's accent was now a British one. Whilst freaking out, he touched his face in disbelief, yelling, You must be taking the piss! And he realized that all of his teeth now looked horrible and were yellow and were rotting. Look, you London blokes might be getting mad at me right now, but I'm literally just saying what's in the manga. It's not like I wrote it. Also, if you're wondering why I'm not showing any panels or anything of the story, uh, don't worry about it, sweetheart. Uh, copyright in it. Copyright can be the opposite of hunky-dory, if you know what I mean. Fasting forward a bit, we get the whole exposition on how the British mysteriously ended the war and managed to erase every other country in existence, except for the United Kingdom. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention the reason for Billy Bob's British transformation was that he got hit by the radioactive British bomb that I mentioned, which messed with his blood cells, and it seems that basking in the blood of the British that was inside the bomb saved his life but also ruining it by giving him this newfound body. But with the body did come some abilities, like the unparalleled ability to predict the weather forecast incorrectly. He also has now adopted all of the British slang, which to be honest, some of it is pretty cool. So now fries or chips. When he jokes, it's banter. When he wants coffee, he says cuppa, cuppa, cuppa tea, cuppa, cuppa, cuppa coffee, you know? He can now force any enemy to disengage at the smell of his breath. All he has to do is get the enemy within this this much distance, and if he doesn't kill him before smelling his breath, then they're automatically knocked out. It's crazy. He always has a bottle of water on hand, which can come in handy. Let's be real. How many heroes would be dehydrated if their manga was realistic? Let's be real. Billy Bob can also now heal anybody with the power of free healthcare, but it takes about eight months for his healing powers to go into effect after he's done them to you. So let's say I'm dying of a heart attack and he tries to heal me there. It won't help. It won't help at all, because I'm already, you know, eight months from now, I'm, I'm dead dead. But, if I have, like, stage one cancer, and he heals me, eight months later, if I'm still kicking, I'll be good. So, it, it, it kind of, you know, it, it's kind of a double-edged sword. But hey, still better than nothing. So yeah, that's a pretty OP set of powers, if you ask me. Billy Bob's whole goal is to unravel the mystery and find out what happened, not only to the American people, but the rest of the world. The main villain in this manga is of course the queen, and her goal is to not allow the other countries to ever come back into existence as the United Kingdom is her country, you feel me? And now it's actually the whole world. It's really a goofy ah villain and goofy ah reasoning, but you know, this is a goofy ah manga. Don't worry though, this was written long before the queen's death, so it's not like they were making a mockery or anything. Uh, they're, they're actually respecting her, for being honest, by making her such a cool villain. And yeah, the rest of the manga up until the climax is full of twists and turns, laughs, uh, sadness, anger, beautiful moments and emotions, lots of great characters too. And finally at the end of the manga, after defeating the queen, Billy Bob, along with Jim and Jimmy, his friends that got introduced in chapter 15, I forgot to bring them up, light up and smoke on that queen pack, successfully bringing back the rest of the world. There was also a tease for a potential sequel slash spinoff as the last page of the manga features George Washington being brought back from the dead along with other prominent leaders in history, like a certain one from Germany and another one from North Korea. So, you know, if that sequel happens, it would probably be a sort of World War All-Star edition, kind of like the Fifth Great Ninja War, for those of you who are familiar with Naruto. And yeah, I, I won't lie, if that happens, it could be one of the greatest manga sequels of all time. It would be this generation's Tokyo Ghoul Re, but we'll save that conversation for if it happens, or I should say, when it happens. All right. It's confession time. Hey, Father. Uh, I'm gonna be honest, guys. I made all of that up. I first saw the United Kingdom as the only country left panel on Twitter. And I thought it would be hilarious to do a video on it. You know, oh, it's so scary. The United Kingdom's the only thing left. Let's make that my Halloween special. And I tried to search for what Mongo was from. Nada. Nothing came up. I could not find that shit. It, it, I couldn't find a single trace of it. And it's not like I just did one image search. I did so many and I looked through every single link that popped up and I just couldn't find a trace of it. So I think it's just a stupid meme that someone made for the one time in a manga art style. Or maybe I'm just tripping. So I had to make an entire story to get a video out of it. Hope you guys understand. At least my story sounded good, right? Like that could be a banger. Someone hire me. Come on, let's make a manga. Come on. Okay. Um... This is awkward. At the time of editing this, I've come to find out that this is indeed from a real manga. So, um, yeah. It does actually have a story. 
whose fan base I probably just made very mad. If it had a fan base, it is called Punishment for Brave Hero 9004 Corpse Prison Record. This shit got like four chapters. Ain't nobody reading this shit. Now, no offense to whoever made it. Shout out to them. But I read the four chapters that, that, that are translated and it's just another kill the demon lord story. And since the demon lord took over most of the world, I guess the United Kingdom was the only area mankind saw a hold of. There's holy knights, there's a goddess, there's a main character, there's another character. It's it's kind of standard. And to be real with you, that's a boring climax to this video. The story I made up in the last five minutes is honestly way better. If you guys want, I lied. No, no, nobody wants a review of this. I was gonna say, if you guys want, I'll do a separate video of this. No one's gonna ask for this. And it's not even me, like, you know, being mean to the author or anything. I just legit don't, like, my anime list has four ratings of this. Four people put in the ratings. It's N slash A for, for, for this, you know, the, 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 the rating number. No one's read this. And that's why I'm saying no one wants this. It's not like I'm saying, oh, it's shit. I didn't particularly love it. It's readable, I guess, but I'll do a quick one minute review. So. I want to do this in the future. Punishment for Brave Hero 9004 Corpse Prison Record. It's a story that's kind of a little bit all over the place. It's a bit too fast paced for my taste. Also featuring a goddess that uses unlimited blade works. So that's pretty cool. Although I will admit, I do kind of like the main character. The writing of the story doesn't make me go, yo, I'm waiting for more. So I am satisfied with reading the four chapters that are translated right now. But who knows, maybe I'll read more when it comes out. I, I finished worst manga in the past. I, I finished a lot worse manga in the past. So yeah, if you guys wanna go read it, go read it for yourself. Maybe I'll put a link in the comments or something. But yeah, that's the review for that. Like I said, hire me next time you want to write a manga. You got the art. I'll handle the story. Watch the box office explode. They call me Sam Raimi, but that's all I got. Hopefully you guys enjoy that video. Happy Halloween, and I'm gonna go cry because I'm too old for trick-or-treating. Later.